course will indeed begin to be developed probably around the end of April, sorry, the end of May, the beginning of June time. But these fences, many of them portable, will be brought in and positioned over those last couple of months. But there won't be a requirement to shut off the whole of the park during that time, simply a cordoning off, as is indicated indicatively again by these red circles, a cordoning off of certain areas where we're doing that course walk through that period of time. So you can imagine that'll build up <coughs> through that period of time. But throughout, the park will remain open. Indeed, no requirement to shut down the park until uh, the, security, uh, the security screening is done, uh, again, approximately uh, around the beginning to middle of July of 2012. In other words, just a couple of weeks out from the game. So the majority of the park will remain open all the way through to that point in time. Now let's go into the games. The eventing competition happens right at the beginning of the games. The cross-country day is currently scheduled to take place on the 31st of July. So bearing in mind, the park's been open until uh, beginning to middle of July. We have cross country on the 31st of July. Immediately after that competition is finished, we will begin to clear those jumps out. In fact, in Hong Kong this year, because of the nature of the portable fences, the whole course was cleared in a matter of two weeks. There was not one jump left within two weeks of that competition. So we could envisage a situation whereby we are even opening up elements of the park to the public even prior to, or just as we get to the end of the Olympic Games period, in other words, the beginning of September. So that perhaps just gives you an idea for the period of time when the total closure would happen 